The former Deputy National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and other strong party leaders in Lagos State have expressed support for the governorship candidate of Labour Party, Badibo Roots Vivo, against the PDP governorship candidate, Abdulaziz Adidiron, popularly known as Jandor. But George and other party leaders made this known Thursday in Lagos. According to them, the Labour Party governorship candidate is the true Lagos indigent and they are confident he will deliver the dividends of democracy to Lagos residents. He being an irredentist member of you. I want to appeal to all our people. That as you go on Saturday, when you take the governorship ballot, vote for Badebo Road Bible. The child, any father will be proud of. Sound, in health. And he is also celebrally efficient. There's no doubt in my mind. In the same vein, others express their support with an endorsement made to support this. There are very few Lagosians that have had the courage to speak truth to power in Lagos State. I remember when I first came across the almost go Pataki Forum, the different articles, the education about Lagos, its people, its history. And you know, if you don't know the history of Lagos, you'll be deceived to think that what we're experiencing is normal. My great grandfather grew up in Lagos where when they opened the water, they could they open the tap, they could drink water. They grew up in Lagos where when they went to public hospital, they got quality treatment. They grew up in the Lagos where they did not need to fly abroad to get injection. They grew up in the Lagos where their children could go to public school and it was okay. And those same children, when they grow up, they are telling you about grades, King College, this and that, because they got policy education. They grew up in the Lagos that was safe. Aboriginals were not harassing them up, up and down. They grew up in the Lagos where the leaders were excellent. They grew up in a Lagos that was the center of the fight against colonialism and they made their name and history in that. And if you don't know, you don't know. And you'll be fooled that what we have in Lagos, which is tokenism and politics, which is a government that will commission a blue line, but nobody used it yesterday, nobody used it today, and nobody used it on the day of my inauguration until I come in and start to make it a little work. It remains to be seen how the governorship election on Saturday will go. Expectations are high that the right candidate will eventually emerge and make Lagos a better state.